back again today with a quick video the problem we have is this timer is uh, not working well technically it's working because you can hear it running but for some reason the time never changes which means the filter runs 24 hours a day and that's a waste a waste of electricity and everything else now before you leave me a snarky little comment like you're such an idiot you should have just replaced the timer mechanism Yes, I know you can replace a timer mechanism in an enclosure like this for around $62. However, you can clearly see how badly this enclosure is rusted, plus it's missing the gasket that keeps it weatherproof, so it needed to be replaced anyway. I'm going to shut it down and replace the timer with this one. This is uh, Torque. Multi-voltage, so this works for 120 or 240. This happens to be 240 volts. It's really easy to do, and uh, there's nothing to be afraid of. First thing I'm gonna do is turn off the breaker. And I'm gonna leave the filter on, and that's how I know the right breaker was switched. All right, let's see, pool filter right here. Flip it, now let's go check. All right, the filter is off, so the power is dead, and that's good. Now, these are really, really easy. Um, you just find the pump. The pump in the back is this wire right here. So this is the, I'll call it out, and this side would be the in. So power in, switched, power out. And that's it. Just got to disconnect it, and then reconnect it. This timer is probably original to the pool and over 20 years old. All right, those are the connections. And the way this is wired, the red ones are both going to the filter. So that's the out. The blacks are both coming in from the uh, source. So that's an easy way for this one to be wired. I don't know what yours is going to be like. I've never seen it like this. So the red ones are going to the left. That's to the filter. I personally love Intermatic timers and have always used them in my pools, but at this particular time they were out of stock and I was under a time crunch so I decided to pick a different brand rather than wait. And there you go, it's off. The Torque Timer has really good reviews and it comes in two varieties. I bought model TU40 which is a mechanical timer that costs around $63 and it's really straightforward to use. Torque also makes model DTU40, which is a digital timer, and it costs around $71. It's obviously a little more complicated to program, but it has an advantage that it's got a battery backup that remembers the time and the schedule if the power goes out. Now the old one used to have these little trippers on here for on and off, and that, that's what you needed. You needed an extra set if you wanted to do it twice a day. The new one just has trippers at every 15 minutes so you can put it on as many times of the day as you want this one is much more I would say um, you know flexible now this can be a little confusing because it has normally open and normally closed that's what NC and NO stand for this switch here is normally open which means when the timer goes on when when the time goes on that's when it'll junction the C and the NO and the C and the NO. So that's basically all you have to think about. Don't even worry about the normally closed. The only other thing here is that you need to create a jumper for the timer. The actual timer works off of this set of wires right here. And the old timer, you could see there was already a set of jumpers there. So that's the only real difference here. And just like the old timer, they have punch outs on the sides you can see on the sides there are knockouts, on the bottom, and even one in the back. So it's very flexible how you're going to hook it up. I'm just going to punch out the knockouts on the sides using a screwdriver. This is actually tougher plastic than I thought. I thought it would be easy to knock them out, but it's not. So you can see what I'm doing on the inside. Okay, at this point, I put the cables through and put the, the nuts back on. I connected the grounds both in the back under that ground screw. And then I took the two red leads, which are the ones that go to the pump. And I put those in the normally open connectors under here. 
and you have to loosen these screws before you put the wires under. And um, so that's normally open. Now I just have to deal with these two and they're gonna go in the common connections. But I need a wire nut and a pigtail because they're gonna go in here, but they're also gonna have to go here. So that's a little bit more complicated than the old one. All right, you can see how I wired the first one and I'm wiring the second one. I just wanted to show you a little trick and that is that you always want the threaded, you know, the, the stranded wire to be the first thing that goes up underneath the wire nut. So that's why I made that one a little bit extra long and I wrapped it around that and now I'm gonna put it on. All right, I know it's hard to tell, but this is one of the black wires coming in from here and it goes under that wire nut and it splits. It goes here and it goes there. The other one comes in from back here, splits and one goes there and the other one goes over here. Now we should be able to turn it on and give it a test. Okay, power back on. All right, we got a green light here indicating power. So that's the two power here. This little switch on the inside here, that red switch, determines what happens. So the O is for off, the one is for on, and the middle, you could see a little bit here, it says, that's for the timer. So if I flip that to the middle, that means the timer would take control. And if I flip it up, everything works. And you can see this light is on too, that's load. So that's good because if that light's on but the filter's not running, that means your pump is burned out. All right, so let's say we want it to go on from, I already put it 8 a.m. to 12 noon, and then we're gonna do four to eight. So let's say we're gonna do eight hours a day, but we're gonna have it split. If I, right now I have it set, that's the middle of the night. So it's gonna make, we're gonna pretend this is morning and it pops on. And then when noon comes, it's gonna pop off. And then when four o'clock comes, it's gonna go back on. All right, great. And we just set the time and let it go. So if it's running and you wanna turn it off, you just flip it down to the off. So the middle position, down is off, middle is in the timer position, and then up is on. So you can override the timer by either going up or down. So that's up is on, timer, off. The last step was to install this retaining screw on the insulator. And here you can see the finished installation. Leave a comment if you have any questions, and thanks for watching.